So people, you saw what happened last season, or you should have done by now. It was a short but snappy one. As we're going to keep on going with it, we have got to make that run that we had last season, winning a trophy, continue into this season. <laughs> Yes, people, welcome back to episode number one of season number nine now of this Grimsby Town to Glory career mode here on the MWS channel, FIFA 23, as we left off winning some silverware. Honestly, what an episode. If you haven't seen it by now, I highly suggest you do go ahead because I'll be spoiling it, of course. I already have spoiled it. And if you do enjoy that one and this one, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and leave a like if of course you do go on to enjoy the content as we've got pre-season coming up we've got Granada, Hertha Berlin and Schalke before we start the Premier League season again it's a rerun as we have Fulham, Bournemouth, Leicester, West Ham and Aston Villa and as you can see we've got an absolutely huge squad right here to rotate with this season Eli Oaf and Dan Bentley the only players to depart the club in, of course, um, the summer. As we go into more movement in the summer, we've got a couple of things. We've got Cardoso going ahead of ranking Costello in terms of team sheet. And Koike Machida is, in fact, retiring at the end of the year. Apart from that, everyone's pretty much the same as I have simulated a day to get players back on loan. We've got 55 100k spent, is that right? I don't know, 550k I think, spent on wages. So I definitely want to get a few players off this list. You can see how many are important as well, which to be fair aren't. And a lot, and I mean a lot of contracts running out at the end of this season. We've got to try and maybe do something about that. Of course, low knee players will get signed up again to loan them back out. As I'm going to start off by doing that, I'm going to get onto the loan deals. You can see going a little bit blondy greyish from, of course, our nine seasons now in this game as we've got a rotational role to offer Alpha Farmer. Four-year contract is completely acceptable by me. Disregard a release clause. He can have the bonus and the wage. We're going to try and get him out on loan. Great four-year contract as I'm going to go next to these three. We've got Louis Reeves, James Poole and Jackson Blackburn. As I've got all of them sorted, including Tommy Shepard as well, all on huge contracts because I do need to believe in contracts a little bit more. They're always expiring. Allows me to shove a couple more on the loan list as there's Callum Wrights as well, the goalkeeper, as we'll finally get into our messages. We've got interest in a lot of players that we're actually after. We've got, of course, Milan Novak joining. A couple going out on loan already. As I do feel it's been a while since we've revisited this screen as well, which, of course, is... Um the scout sheet we're going to try and get another big star one in so we've recalled one right there simulate a couple more days as a transfer off a Boca Juniors for Owen Atawasi we don't really want him but back to the Americas because I can see in South America not North but that is when I'm going to accept he really doesn't have a place in the squad and as you can see it takes one of the highest wages as also a loan offering for Emiliano Villa a player that didn't get much game time last season Maybe worth keeping him around, but he's 24 year old. We're going to be signing this year. So I'll go for just a basic loan. As I believe it's finally time to touch ground on these objectives, which I haven't shown you. Youth development, sign at least three players younger than 20 year old with a great potential. That's always one. Brand exposure, seven clean sheets. Sign one player from a different nationality, should I say, of the club. No continental. Avoid relegation round of 16, like last time, but we need to do it this time. And financial, sell two players, sign one crucial to replace them, spend all the money, and make a 7 million profit from youth players. That's why we're getting a new scout in, and we have the money to get a new scout in with 82 million to spend. So Leo Barker, I'm sorry mate, we've worked together a while, but he's going to get the sack. And Jamie McCormack is going to join here. We've already got one in England. Where shall we go? Go. I, I want a new Gavi. I want a Javi. Let's go Spain. It's not a conventional one for Grimsby Town, but I feel like finding someone decent there would be decent, of course, as Villa does go out on loan. As when I look at this squad for the Premier League season, we need to get it right this year. We need to get it right. We need to get spending as well, as I do feel 
We need a goalkeeper. Another one. Yes, I always replace my goalkeeper when I get to the Prem. Don't ag me on that. As, of course, we want a centre-back as well. I'd say another midfielder, possibly, if one pops up. And then maybe another attacker and maybe another right-back. Ranking Costello is getting older. He's been very good for us. Cardoso, maybe not there just yet. We'll see what players we scout. As if you remember a few seasons ago, we had this guy, Dominic Knight. Looks like he's got released from Bayern Munich. We will not be trying to sign him, however, because I've got a huge, huge list right here. And I think it's about time to go back to a player we did look at last season. Giles Matthew, the Belgium shot stopper, the regen courtois, 21 year old at Luton Town. Was going to approach him, of course, but we're in the same league as them. This time in the Prem, Maybe he wants to step up. We'll be offering bang on his evaluation. 15 and a half million. Oh, and they're asking for 22. They know we've got money now. Of course, we're a Premier League side. I'll try and negotiate to 20 million. That's reasonable. 22 and a half. Go on then. I don't want to lose this guy. A Conquo was good for us last season, but this guy just looks the bee's knees. We'll try and get it sorted. A crucial role. Not at 80 rated just yet, but should be there within what? I'd say two week, maybe, of the Prem start. And he wants a five-year contract, which will let him have. Keep him here quite a while. Accept no release clause. I don't want to offer a pound. Almost bottled it right there, as that's a big bonus for him. I think that's an incentive to come to the Premier League. And he sees that as well. Welcome, Giles Matthew. Don't know really why he's on the treadmill, though. Get him... Get him on the field, get him shot stopping. And that's the player from a different nationality signed up to the club. Very happy with getting a goalkeeper in, but still, we've got five lines of reserves. If you know me, I like three. So I've got to get rid of some players. As there's one, Owen Atasoye going to Boca Juniors. As another player that's on my radar right here is not a position that we're really wanting to acquire a player. We're still on the search for a centre-back. But Henry Boateng, is that Kevin Prince Boateng's son? I don't know. 20-year-old can play CDM and centre-mid. It can replace Ibrahim Abamba when he's out, Reggie Stone, Paradella, and of course, it's another midfielder in the ranks. And with Watford relegated, I feel like this guy shouldn't be too much. That still leaves us with 34.5 million. 23.4 is what they're after. Okay, trying to be cheeky with it. We'll go for another 22.5. 23 in a little bit. Just round it up to 23. I don't like these odd numbers. 23 is agreed upon. This guy wants a release clause as well. 51.4. He knows he can go to right to the very top with his potential. Get that goal bonus off. He can have 23 and a half. That's less than what Atasoye had with us. A good purchase. Number two for the Prem. We still have money and a lot of players at this club. We could probably do with another striker. Or forward player, maybe? And, of course, another centre-back. Dorset was good, but in the Premier League, you need better. As a loan offer's coming for James Paul as well. This one's one we'll accept for a loan to buy, because, of course, we do already have Vigo Pedersen. There's two more offers in right here. Tommy Shepard is approached by Getafe for a loan, if we can get the loan to buy option off that. And I'd probably go short-term with him. And Josh Eccles, that's two and a half million. That's bang on his evaluation. But I don't see the end of him in Turkey. Want to keep him here as another player we might keep here is, of course, Vigo Pedersen. We've talked about him a lot. He's 72 rated at 19 years old. He's got pace and dribbling and could really get to 73 very, very quickly. May have seen he's now a left winger as Napoli come in for Dante Sealy. Maybe actually having um, Pedersen's a good deal because Dante, we cannot reject this. Yes, it's below his uh, optimal evaluation, but it's Napoli of Syria. Goodbye, Dante. Damaging departure. Now it's all gone through. Harley Hartley, of course, was a very surprising figure of last season. He'll have to do it again this year. As at least we've got some money in from that deal, and maybe that's enough to buy yourself. Yes, another right back. We've got Brian. Brian, that is right. Pereira. The French right back from Schalke, 27 year old, looks decent. Would not mind another one through the door as we'll offer bang on his evaluation. They want Reggie Stone. Now I tell you what, that's one that's definitely not happening. You can have, just, just take what is valued plus an extra 10k for the troubles. As it does go through and he wants a crucial role, we'll give him it. 
Don't want to give this guy huge contact, because of course Cardoso has one, and he will be the main player, I'm pretty sure, at that position. But that wage is extremely too high if you're expecting that at Grimsby Town. Uh, 33 is the highest we're already offering a player. If he doesn't take 33, he won't get his deal. We just simply can't agree to them terms. That is a shame, as we're still on the hunt for another centre-back as well. And I know he's not the best rated on here, but David Argon of Sunderland is a left-footed one. The rare to come across high-rated. This guy's in the championship. He's a beast of a man. We really want to sign. We're going to be paying his release clause for him, which is 13.8. Not bad at all for a 78 rated player who can definitely be in a Prem side. We're going to give him that three-year contract and important role. No release clause. This guy with Ronnie Edwards at the back could be brilliant. So we're going to try and put that down to 33. Remove an appearance fee. He wants 38. Now, what's wrong with these contracts going up? You can have 35, as he does accept that one. Argon in the club. I mean, it took some negotiating, but that's signing number three. That leaves us with 28 million still to go within this window. Right back still possibly the position I'm looking at, or another striker, as I did say, as we've got Finn Azaz, who, to be fair, I have noticed can be trained as a striker. Them stats don't look bad as one. I never noticed till I was messing off screen, as we could probably put him on a right-hand sided wing spot, or actually just as a centre forward, which does play behind the strikers. Centre forward the way to go, as Hiram Boateng will get the number 11. Pritchard's out on loan as well, I didn't mention that one. We're going to give David Argon. It's number 25. No, we'll give him number 21. That's a little better. And Matthew, if he hasn't got it already, which he has, takes the number one shirt. This squad should be rocking as, of course, we're going to get into the first game here. A simulation against Granada. See how this goes. It's a 2-2 draw. Pavlov with the double for us. Fofana and Fry for them. As Tommy Shepard has gone out on loan and now we're offering... For Vigo Pedersen, with Finazaz now training forward, maybe we do let Vigo go out on loan. Just give him some minutes. As Ryan Jones also wanted in Spain by Las Palmas. And again, another one I think I'll put a loan to buy option with. So that's another youngster potentially sold. As we've changed up the team for Hertha Berlin. Let's quick sim this one, see what it's going to be. It's going to be a 3-1 defeat. Pavlov with the only goal. Miguel and Taylor actually sinking us. As Sociedad now in for Alfie Farmer. Midfield is where we've got a lot of players. I'm going to try and make it short term. Or just the one year. As something I've also noticed here. We're going to sign a right back. Hiram Boateng can play there without a fuss. His stats are so good he can play there. I'm pretty sure, yes, he could play centre back. And he can play left back. He is literally an all-rounder. So we're going to start him at right back for this game against Schalke. The final pre-season one. Where it's a 2-2 draw. No wins, but still, mainly positive. As all that matters now is our endeavours in the league as Leon Marshall delegate. I only want it to be a one-year loan, thank you very much. Ellis Morton will go to Rakow. And Dorset's got an offering from Ajax, which is quite difficult to turn down. Playing, of course, continental football. We're going to lose Jerry L. Dorset. It's an annoying one because he was a decent player, but Blackburn... Equally as decent, does step up to this lineup. He's got to take his chance. He may do, as this scout that I've just got is unbelievable. Raiko Perez, straight away from Spain. It's not a Gavi or a Xavi. It's more of an Oya Zabal slash Ansu Fati. I'll 1000% take it though, as now Oliver Barkley wanted by Tranmere Rovers, a team we started off this career mode against. I'd love him to go short term there. NFL football, some of the best you can play as Louis Reeves has a transfer offer. Now that we have Boateng and a lot more youngsters, we're going to be accepting that offer from Pisa. He hasn't made it at the club, despite his brilliant bun, his man bun, as we've got another offering for Oliver Barkley. This guy's a popular figure. We just want him on a, norm, on a normal loan, should I say. Kian Palmer will try and send to... What is it? It is Salanyata. Salantana. I'm going to pronounce it completely wrong as we're almost at the first game of the season. Offer from Veacano. Straight turned down. It's Harley Hartley. What do you expect? No one takes our main man as Arthur Conquo. No one's taking us back up goalkeeper until, of course, he asks to leave the club. We did get him for quite cheap from Arsenal. 
because of course he was on the transfer list. Let's look at that before the first game of the season we've got it to three pages of reserves. That is perfect as Joe Rankin Costello is the man missing out on this opening day fixture because the bench is full you can see right there and the team we're going to go with is Matthew. Boateng, Edwards, Agron, Small. We're going to start Bamber, even though he's not sharp. Stone and Novak with Harley Hartley, Bloxham and Pavlov. We're against Fulham. We start off the Prem well this time. Away at Craven Cottage for the opening day. Fortuno, Nathan Patterson, Lombardi, Vornayo and Christiansen. Dorlash and Oxan with Alex Adams, Tillman, Georgiev. And NS Junal still there. Marco Silva, of course, still in charge as Patterson straight down the wing into Adams. We need to get at them this time. Be aggressive as Novak, the new signing into Stone, giving the ball to the other new signing in Boateng, who's going to step in a little bit. We'll go for a pass around there, and that's a good ball from Pavlov straight onto Reggie Stone. An early start there. Bordeu. With the block, it looked a bit handled, but they've got away with it. As Christiansen running down this wing, blocked the Fulham man there, but they've still got the pass in the middle. And Ennis Junal, Matthew, big save against one of his old London rivals. That is what you want from your shot stopper, as now they've still got a corner, though. Adams shorting to Dorsch, and he's completely outdone us right there. A little slip, Adams, it's all around the middle. That's a bad tackle from Pavlov. Penalty conceded in the opening stages. is going into the book. This is a horrific start to the Premier League. Miroslav as player of the year last time out. The tackle, definitely a pen. Matthew required again to try and make a save. He's already made one. This time sent left where players usually go right. He did go right. Completely wrong-footed. A great finish. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. Just got to try and respond from the pen. I'd love a comeback story, though, as Pavlov, of course, getting the yellow card. I think it was clipped a little bit there, but nothing given as Tillman puts it through the middle onto Adams. Argon with the block into Hiram Boateng. We'll get that around the corner into Reggie Stone and Tom Bloxham. His first involvement in the Premier League. He can shoot across goal, and it's an instant equaliser. He did it against Burnley last year. He's done it in the Prem for our first goal back. Our number 29, all six foot five of his frame, putting it in the bottom corner. Absolutely love it from him. But still, we've got to hang on a little bit. Fulham aren't done in this first half, it seems. Their passing is extremely quick. But we're going to try and pass a little bit quicker. Here's Tom Bloxham again. Oh, and that's an inviting ball over the top for Miroslav. He needs to respond from giving the penalty away. Oh, his pass intercepted. Just need to keep this going, to be fair, boys. We're not doing too badly into the second half. 1-1. One, one. And change is made as we've got a free kick. Telling me to take Reggie off for Jack McGlynn. That's just not happening as Ronnie Edwards with the ball through the middle there onto Paradella. It's around the corner again into Thierry Small looking for Finazaz. It was almost involved directly there. Thierry Small still to pick up on this. We'll try and chip it down the line for Paradella. Flick that back in. That's a good ball here and it's side netting. Just Tom blocks him as Agron. Easy ball through the middle there. Straight onto Finazaz, who's got a man in front of him. It's a brilliant ball through to Miroslav Pavlov. This could be his chance, you know. Get that in the middle to block him. It's unfortunate. It's a little block as Paradella around the corner into Thierry Small. Lifts it in. Blocks him not there. Excellent. As now Finazaz. We've got a ball through the middle for Tom Bloxham. It's too much for him. Lombardi to just drag it away. Two added minutes. It looks like we're destined for a one-all draw in our first Prem game of the season. Not too bad. I'll take a draw. I will take it. And Koike Machida quick to react, saying he's not getting enough game time. I mean, just settle in there. You're retiring at the end of the year. You're a Premier League team. Be grateful. As Boateng says, he's nice to be at right back. Get a player like him. Knows his role, as I've also seen this. Waddle are prepared for a relegation scrap. I'm absolutely not. I want us to give it our all to avoid that, as Paradella from Wolves an offer. They got promoted with us. I am not accepting it, as that reminds me of something I've got to show you guys, because it is laughable. As I go to the championship, Everton got relegated. That's one thing to look at, but also... Wherever they are, I don't see them in the table anywhere. Yes, fifth position. Burnley, who was chasing us and we was chasing them. 
staying in that division. Wolves come second and join us as Curtis Wright. I will be rejecting your move to Porto. You're not going to be joining Villa because I kind of need you here. Really funny as we're 11th in the table. One point with Bournemouth who lost their first game. This will be a simulation. I think I'm going to stick with the same team that did start the game. Hoping and praying for a decent result as it's a 2-2 draw. We avoid a defeat. Gotts, Stone, Pavlov and Fran Beltran. As it's back to loans, loans, loans as we've got the cup threaded through right here. Hartlepool United. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to show you the team and I'm going to test something out. You can see the team is highly rotated for it. Bloxham stays in and Bamba and a Zaz still in it, a Conquo in, and then mainly other changes, but that's not the actual focus of doing this. The point is, I'm gonna try this option, playing highlights. And because it's in place of a simulated game, I'm not gonna dwell too much on their team, but if you want to know, there it is. As we start off with an attack right here, Paradella through the middle, of course. Just rejected that move from Wolf, so I'm hoping he can do a bit decent here. Passing to Diara, a decent run through the middle, and Ori's missed the shot! Don't know who it was, but Diara, a bit of a solo run. He needs to try and get an option in the middle somehow. Finds it out wide into Tyler Bloxham. We're going to back heel that into McGlynn. He can't get his pass off, but it falls back to us. Blocks them round the corner. We'll drill this one. It's still in the air. We can't shoot. That was a chance as now they've got a bit of a chance of Hartlepool. Joe Gray running at us. He's got his ball through on to Mendoza, but a block. Retosiora. I don't know how you say that with the ball out wide as well. And a ball in the middle. Good save of Conquo. And I tell you what, it's not really good enough from us. The end of the game's come just like that. No big highlights for us. We're held to a draw. And oh, that actually means penalties, you know. Let's see what we can do against Paul. Need to get revenge on these for, of course, beating us in real life in the league as Novak just slots the first one in the bottom bin. They score theirs, and Tom blocks them now with a chance. He scores our second. Wallace here with his. He came on off the bench. Can he score his? It's off the crossbar, and what a penalty that is, you know, as Niang. Can we save it to make it... No, we can't go in front. I'm going to say make it precious as Paradella. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. We've got to save McDonald's now. And he scored. If Rankin Costello, who's lost his way a little bit in this team, misses, we're out. But no, he puts it in the top bin. It's all now down. To Ratosiora, we've got to still save it, and we don't. Hartlepool beat us on penalties in the Carabao Cup. That's not embarrassing at all, is it? As it's Leicester City up next as well. A Premier League game we've got to win. We'll jump straight into it anyway. Focusing too much on lineups and everything. They've got Delit and Dizassi at the back, two and many. It's a solid team. Still, one in my opinion, we should be beating us, Harley. Out to Thierry Small. Gives it back into Harley Hartley. Pavlov gets it round the corner into Novak. Now Small. Harley with it again. We'll give it out wide into Novak. Novak to whip a long ball in. Oh, it was just took away from Bloxham. Early chances. Here's Novak with the ball round the corner into Harley again. That's a good one for Thierry Small to run onto. Surely hit the arm of Delict and has free kick right on the edge. Could we try and slip this in with Pavlov? Or maybe Reggie Stone. We might stand a chance. We've got to get it completely right. Reggie Stone to try and curl it around. Oh, he hit his man. And Thierry Small turn in the middle of the pack onto Novak. Down this line into Harley Hartley. Now Pavlov going for one from range. That's a tester. And I tell you what, we've got Bamba now on set pieces. Can we do anything from this one anyway? It falls to Harley Hartley. Drilling it in. Still back to Novak. Oh, it's blocked again. Being a first half of utter dominance as Boateng. Rounding to Reggie Stone who can turn and face. He's got a man out wide who he uses in Boateng. Back in the middle. Reggie Stone. That's how you win a game. I mean, it's only the first half and the opening goal. But we've got it. What a rocket this was. Reggie Stone. 22.4 miles out. Oh, it's brilliant stuff. No goalkeeper saving this one. Reggie. Oh, actually. Ooh, not too good. Maybe he should have saved that IMO as Gabriel Veron. He's running down this line. He's giving it into Busio. 
Busio on the edge. We really want to hold on to this lead before the break. Too many. Oh no. After our rocket, they go for one of their own. Do they just have to copy us? Just got to dust ourselves off, lads, going into this second half because honestly, we've been the better side. Reggie Stone threw one to Bamba. Can't do what Chua Many did. That was a big one for them as Harley Hartley. He's going to put this out on the wing into Boateng. That's a turn into Pavlov. He's going to try and keep hold of this ball. Boateng on side. Trying to cross it to block some. Reggie Stone getting there first. And Novak over. We can't get it in as... We can't get the shot in as Veron in the middle. Oh, Matthew. Absolutely love you and your savers, mate. As we need to try and block this corner as well. Remy comes onto the... Oh, no. Kovaleski coming on. That's not good. Off the crossbar. And tapped home from the substitute. We're going to lose the game. Dejan Kovaleski making the move from... Either Juve or Tottenham, but oh, we deserved something from this game. Not a fan of this going behind stuff as Pavlov. He will keep the ball here into Bamba. Bamba around the side, Reggie Stone. Pavlov, it's chance to whip one in. It wasn't a bad ball, but didn't land to anyone. Reggie Stone into Bloxham. That's terrible. Bringing on the subs as Novak. He's managed to squeeze it through the middle onto Finn Azaz. He will wait. He'll get an option. Here's Thierry Small. Angle was small as Duomo Jr. on. And it's really good passing from the away side. It's Busio as we're attacking and it's killed off. Leicester have won the game. 3-1. We've got West Ham next where we must move on. This game's a write-off. It really is. We've got to be better next time. I'm really disheartened with that as oh, it's deadline day. It's deadline day straight after the game as our Premier League position 15th. I mean, it's not the worst in the world, but of course, can be a lot better with potential signings to come in. We're going to leave that for next time. Thank you guys for watching this episode right here. You might see it's a little bit of a different one. With I've tried to cut it up a little bit more, make it a bit longer going through the season. If you enjoy this, please let me know. Smash the like button. Of course, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell as well, as I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care in a bit, and peace.